अब जो इन्वेंटर आ रही हैं, वो प्रूव कर रही हैं कि ये नई जेनरेशन सेल सेंटर बिल्कुल नहीं है At 17, Sifat has come up with an idea to help those with autism stay safe. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Wonderful. And tell us a little bit about yourself. So, Sashrikal, Namaste, and hello to everyone. I'm Sifat Sayal, and I'm 17 years old. I'm from New Delhi. I'm just a young, uh, like regular teenager who wants to change one life at a time. So, the floor is yours. Let's hear what you're working on. My my device is one that, uh, that I've made for autistic children. When autistic children are triggered, they're very uh, sensitive to external stimuli, and anything can trigger them. So once the meltdown has taken place, it becomes very difficult for the caretaker to manage the child. If we can prevent or like predict when the meltdown is going to happen or when the child is triggered, so that we can intervene at an earlier stage and maybe help the child and the caretaker so that they go through much lesser stress. So I've made a device that you can that can be worn on the uh, wrist. So every time your pulse rate or your heart rate uh, reaches above a threshold value, the caretaker gets an alert on the uh, on their phone saying that the child has been triggered. They can intervene and comfort the child so that there's much less chances of it becoming a bigger issue than it is. So if I've understood correctly, essentially what you're looking to invent uh, is a smartwatch specifically customized for children with special needs. Yes. Uh, there are so many um, smart watches that already have uh -huh. pulse readers and heartbeat uh, Yeah, so like readers. it's already very common in the market. But I want to make one that is compact and much more comfortable for people. And especially because this is for children. So I want it to be much more comfortable. Have you spent uh, any time around children with special needs or with autism yes, yourself? Yes, I've spoken like there were two kids in my class who gone through. So I've seen like their caretakers come with them to school. And like whenever they're triggered, they just like sometimes they shout. Sometimes it's really difficult. Difficult for the caretaker to predict it because you can't mm. really like know when a child has been triggered because they're really really sensitive to the external environment. Have you spent time with caregivers of children with special needs? I've spoken to three care okay. uh, caregivers, so my family knows two people who have children who are autistic. So I've spoken to them and they've also realized the need for something like this. And what is it that you're expecting from the lab phase if you do go into it? So right now, I've built a circuit like for the watch, but I need the components to be much lighter and much more mm -hmm. compact. Also, the other features like the pulse, uh, like the location detector and sweat detector, they're already available in the market. But to integrate them into the prototype is a task that I would want to do in the lab. Yeah, great. Thank you. That was really well done. All the very best. It's so fantastic to Beyond see uh, so many youngsters dealing yeah. with. Uh, you know, such yeah, like you said, empathetic issues. Uh, it's really wonderful. Thank you. I completely second that thought. I yeah. think this generation is so aware and so confident and just wanting to work on the betterment of the society, which I think none of us are even aware of that. So I think that's great, Sifa. There are so you. many great options. I'm going to have to sif it through I all of them. Yeah. I was waiting for that. I was just waiting for that. <laughs>